Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. We got Weller 12 uh, weeded bourbon today. Uh, this is gonna be good. I've never tried it. Uh, as you can see, this is unopened. So we'll try it. It'll be my first time. Never had it before. So I'll give my thoughts on that one. Try the other Weller, but I'm excited to try this one out. And along with that, uh, we'll try out the Korean barbecue pork belly uh, grilled right here in front of me. Tried the brisket last time, it was pretty darn good. So we'll try out the pork belly and we'll have it together and see what's what. So here we go, let's try it out. Let's heat up the grill first. As it gets heated up, um, obviously we got the pork belly. Okay, and we got some uh, uh, lettuce leaves, uh, perilla leaves, some oyster mushrooms, cucumbers, uh, bean sprouts, seasoned bean sprouts, and then jalapenos, garlic, and sliced garlic, and some spicy radish. We'll try it all together, and uh, it's gonna be a delicious meal. So here we go. Oh, should put the garlic in. Alrighty, so let's open this guy up. Ooh. You know, it smells a lot like the, uh, at least just the nose, it smells not like the other Wellers. Very sweet, uh, like a maple syrup, uh, vanilla. Let's pour it in here. There it is. I've been saving this bottle for a while. I got it last year, uh, months back, and I've been just leaving it out there for good opportunity to open it up and I thought today might be a uh, good day to open it up and try it out with some pork belly barbecue so so here it is Weller just for the for those who are not too familiar with the Weller lineup uh, they're made by the Buffalo Trace distillery obviously one of the bigger distilleries out there they make the, all the popular ones the, the Blantons, the Eagle Rares, the Pappies that everyone is looking after going after. So they make uh, the Weller lineup as well. They have the, the Special Reserve as their, their lowest one. Um, they got the, the 107 Antique and they have the Weller 12. They also have the Blue uh, Weller, which is the full proof, full, full proof, which is not diluted. Um, and a lot of people want that bottle and it's the most expensive one um, out, of the, out of the four um, that I just mentioned. There's also more, more rare bottles. I think they have like an orange bottle and, and some other white bottle. Uh, but as far as the ones that are sort of attainable, we got the green, the red, the black, and the, bl uh, the blue uh, Weller lineup. So a couple of important things about Weller 12. Number one, it's a weed at bourbon, meaning aside from the number one ingredient being corn, the second ingredient, or, or I think it's the second or third, it's, it has wheat in it, which is, not as common as, as let's say rye or barley, uh, but it has wheat in there. So it has a little bit different profile. And two, there's another very famous lineup in the Buffalo Trace offerings that also include wheat. And that's the Pappy Van Winkle bourbons. And a lot of people know Pappy as the most sought after bourbons out there. They go for thousands, you know, tens of thousands um, for a bottle. It's also a weeded bourbon. So it's, the ingredients are supposedly very similar, if not exactly the same. So those people who are obviously cannot get the, the Pappy uh, bourbons that are thousands of dollars, they go, they gravitate towards these Weller that are, you know, made by the same distillery and made with the same, uh, same ingredient. All right, let's put the mushrooms on first because they take a little longer. Okay, I think it's heated now. Here we go. All right, let's go for the nose first. Some apples and sugary, sugary, very sweet notes coming through. Nothing extraordinary. 
typical bourbon scent. But it's very light. This is 45% alcohol, 90 proof. So it's not the strongest bourbon out there. It's probably one of the weaker as far as the alcohol content is concerned. But let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Buttery and again apples, fruity. Buttery, a little bit oily, um, not too oily, but very buttery and rich. The finish is okay, the finish is okay. A little bit of oak coming through, very sweet oak. Apple, sugars, like brown sugars, and oakiness. Those are the three things that come through. It's good. Hmm, interesting. I thought I would have more flavor speaking through, but not picking up any. Try one more time. Almonds. The heat is very light, uh, very gentle, um, very gentle, uh, very subtle. The finish, not that strong. Uh, but I don't expect it to be strong, uh, considering it's only 45% alcohol. Yeah, just very, like a, like a big apple taste with like a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of, uh, like a cinnamon and sugar on top. A candied apple. That's, that's the, that's the taste I'm getting. Try it one more time before I try it with the meat. A little bit more barrel-y at the end. Uh, a very charred oak paste. Everything is very hmm, medium. I don't know, maybe I was expecting a lot from this Weller Club. Um, interesting. But I'm not picking up that many notes coming through. It's just fruity, um, somewhat sweet, and oaky. I mean, that, which is what most of the bourbons are, but I'm not picking up any other like uh, prominent flavors like, I don't know, or baking spices or bready or like, a, I don't know, caramel notes, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of like, like a sweet, like a Werther's candy note coming through. But that's about it. It's very easy drinking, man. I can tell you that for sure. No, uh, no zinc to it. Um, doesn't burn at all. Um, just a sweet, easy drinking 12 year old bourbon. Interesting. All right. Let's try with the fourth belly. It's almost done. Belly is so chewy and full of flavor. <clears throat> a lot of oil in there too, so it just bursts with that savoriness of the pork. Mm. Alright, one more bite. Mm. 
I think because the meat's hot, it heats up the, the bourbon in my mouth and it makes me notice more flavors. I, I just taste a little bit of cherry. Like, not a word, there's candy. I don't know if that's the way to describe it. Like sweet candy, butterscotch, very buttery, very... Um, it's not thick, but it's very buttery. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like oily slash silky. The finish again is not strong. Uh, it goes away pretty fast. It doesn't really have the coating nature of a thick, um, you know, more higher proof uh, bourbon. All right, here we go. Let's try it with a little bit of ice. Cheers. Mm. Taste has changed a little bit. Mm. Like floral notes coming through. Oh. Much gentler now. Almost becomes like a like a cocktail, full cocktail drink. Yeah, like cherry. Look at cherry. Still sweet, still buttery. You didn't lose that texture, but everything is more, more gentler. Right. So far, I'm not too impressed. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll get flamed for this comment, but. If it's good, I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not. Uh, I don't think it's extraordinary in, in any aspect. The nose is whatever. The taste is is good. I would say it's solid. Um, better than solid, but not to the extent of oh, I gotta get this because it's like pappy. I don't know what pappy tastes like, but. I'm, I'm assuming it's better than this. Overall, it's a good bourbon. Um, I don't think um, that it lives up to its hype though. It's very light in all its offerings and uh, the, the amount of, amount of uh, characteristic that it offers is very limited, meaning it's only, you know, it's fruit, sweet, done. So a little bit disappointed on that. Uh, it's my first time trying Waller 12. So maybe I had a higher expectation than I should have. Maybe that's maybe that's on me, but but yeah, maybe I'll try it another time and give it another go. But today I thought it was just subpar compared to what I was expecting. The pork belly though, uh, it was really good. The 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 pork belly is so juicy. It's because there's so much oil in there. So uh, along with the vegetables and all the toppings, it just a burst of flavor in my mouth. It's just an explosion of deliciousness. Uh, just popping all over. So, uh, with together with the bourbon, it was really good. When we put the ice in there, it sort of had that, that you know, washing down uh, feel to it. Uh, when I was drinking the bourbon, it was delicious. The bourbon sort of brought out uh, the, the taste of meat a little more, I thought. But when I watered the, uh, what water now? The, when I put the ice in the bourbon, I felt like the, the taste of bourbon sort of diminish. If I were to do it again, I'll be reluctant to put some ice in there. So is it worth 200, 300, 500 dollars? I don't think so. If you are able to pick it up for hundred dollars or whatever around there and you want to have a taste, I think it's a good pickup. And people want to try it out too. So if you if you have it handy and, and uh, you have people over it, it's a crowd pleaser, I think. Um, so that's my verdict. I wouldn't go over hundred dollars, a hundred, whatever, low hundreds. Uh, that's my my thought on that. So there you have it guys. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again. Appreciate your time. 
Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know what you think of Weller 12. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who think Weller 12 is great. Just let me know what you think on it and then I'll, I'll take a look and respond as well. So thanks again, have a good one and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.